Hi everyone, I'm Jamila and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to be sharing with you a pesto recipe that can be used for either a sauce over zucchini pasta or any type of other pasta that you care to eat or it can be eaten as a dip with crackers or chips. Now my version of this of pesto is arugula and basil. Arugula gives it a nice kind of spicy um, flair to it plus with all of the greens that are going to be included in this pesto it's really good for you as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the recipe and let me tell you about what I have sitting over here. <clears throat> I have zucchini noodles that I went ahead and uh, spiralized. My zucchini noodles are resting on a paper towel because zucchinis are water rich and once you peel them and slice them then the water starts to leak out and I don't want the water that will be released from the noodles to uh, dilute my sauce so that's why um, they're staying on a paper towel to absorb that moisture. And I'm just going to set these aside for now. For the pesto I have here three uh, four ounce containers of fresh basil two packed cups of arugula. This is about 20 or so, I kind of just eyeballed it, but it's about 20 or so uh, red cherry tomatoes and these are the sweet red cherry tomatoes. And I have here about a cup of sun-dried tomatoes that are still soaking. Three-fourths cup of pine nuts. One cup of Kalamata olives. The little bits and pieces from my zucchini noodles that I'm going to throw into my pesto. The juice of one lemon. Four cloves of garlic minced. And I also have here nutritional yeast. And black pepper for the seasonings. And for this recipe, of course, um, you're going to need a food processor. So to get started, I am going to be putting in first the lemon juice, the garlic, the bits of zucchini, olives, pine nuts, cherry tomatoes, and the sun-dried tomatoes. Not cherry tomatoes, the cherry peppers. I don't know why I keep calling them tomatoes. They're cherry peppers. Sorry. And I'm also going to add in some of the nutritional yeast, about two tablespoons. And mm, some black pepper, according to your taste. And of course, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I always taste as I go. So if I need to adjust and put more pepper, I will. Now we're going to go ahead and run the processor until this is a, not a smooth consistency, but when, but until the ingredients in here are well grounded. And as always, you want to stop and make sure you're scraping down the sides. Alright, 
Let's check our pesto so far. And I'll just show you what the consistency looks like here that we're going for. And I'm just going to give this a little taste here. Mmm. Has a little bit cheesy taste plus the flavor of the sweet um, cherry peppers is coming through along with the garlic. So this is perfect. Now we're just going to add our greens. In the arugula. You might need to add your greens in stages depending on how large the bowl of your food processor is. So mine is full, so I'm going to let this uh, grind down and then I'll add my basil. Okay, I have my arugula in there. Now I'm going to be adding all of my basil in batches. Filling it on the counter. And that's okay, it's clean. <laughs> now I'm about to add my last batch of basil. Fresh basil smells so good. Let's check our pesto. Now this is what it looks like now. Now when you're making this, if you find that your pesto is a little dry, you can always put in a couple of teaspoons of the sun-dried tomato soap water. That's why I always save it. So it looks pretty good here and let's go ahead and give this a little taste. Mmm. It doesn't need anything. This is perfect. It's delicious and it smells so good with that fresh basil in there. Now also um, I'd like to mention that if you want your pesto to be a little creamier you can always put in a quarter or a half of avocado. Then it'll make it a little bit creamier. But I like my consistency like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it over my noodles. I have my pesto all mixed in with the zucchini noodles. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. This really looks good, doesn't it? Mmm. This is delicious. It really is. And I'm going to stop right now before I take another bite. <laughs> it's that good. So there you have it. My arugula and basil pesto with zucchini noodles. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe for new recipe videos each week. Until next time, bye!